Okay guys, you ready for this? We're gonna get right back into this once again. Um, this is gonna be part seven, I think, of the tutorial series. Yeah, something like that. Woo, okay. As you can see, I added in someone new. This is just a non-player character, you know. Sprited him in a couple of seconds. Didn't take long because I was being lazy. Really lazy. Anyways, ugh, I need to fix something right uh, about here because that does not look right at all uh, 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 okay I'll leave it like that because I'm still kind of lazy but let's get right back into this like I said so um let's start off by editing this non parry character this is gonna be kind of dialogue continued just in case you didn't get the hang of it the first time um let's copy talking to burnt sword that we have control C then control V right about here let's rename this talking to NPC all right we're gonna replace this burnt sword with the NPC gotta put that right about there and let's extend this conversation let's make this one four and this one three okay um what should he say what should he say i have no idea but let's wing it hi you must be the new player i heard that if you pick up the sword well let me capitalize sword since it's a game item you can press space to use it well I might have to cut that off you can press space to use it Yeah, okay. So that's what I'm gonna have there. Gonna be one of those, you know, friendly advice giving non player characters that we all love so much in RPG games. <coughs> so, I think I'm forgetting something. And I'm missing the main important part. As you can see, both of these have an obstacle and an NPC qualifier. He needs one of those, well, both of those to be exact. Let's find obstacles, which is, uh, I just passed it, here it is, obstacles and NPC, which should be right above that. Here we go. Uh, before I test that out, I want to p make it so that you can access this pause menu in game, and you will do that like this. Access pause menu group. You want to scroll up here click on the main game go to global values new we're gonna rename this global value as load okay uh, upon pressing enter that's how we're gonna move to the um, pause screen first off we're gonna save the position you can find this at the I and I uh, section here save the position of your main character uh, upon pressing enter, save position, um, the location is already set at the start of the frame, so that's good. Then you will set global value load to 1. Then you will jump to frame menu. Now, um, let's just put this in here. You don't need to make a new group, but I'd like to because I'm really organized. Go back to game. Okay. So upon pressing enter, just like we did on the other frame, it will jump to frame, loading frame. And if you don't know why I did that, I made it so that if the location is blank, just like it's a given here, I made it so that at the start of this frame, the location is given as blank. So if the location is blank, it'll jump to frame number four, which is this. <coughs> so 
So let's go back to access pause menu on the mainframe. If load is equal to one, insert limit condition, only one action when event loops. You're going to set load to zero so he won't continuously load spot. Then you will load position of the object, which is this right about here. So there we go. This should work properly pretty good um, I'm just gonna go ahead and continue the game because I don't want to do all that extra stuff actually no I'll start a new game to show you guys how the sword works uh, my name is a a a a a a a because I'm lazy uh, so you have found a sword would you like to pick up the sword oh I just realized what I didn't do let's go right back to this <laughs> This main event editor. Uh, let's see. Upon accepting the sword, this sword needs to destroy. We don't need to see this anymore, so just delete it off the frame after you've accepted it. Anyways, let's do this one more time. Okay, new game. Bing. Uh, okay. My name is going to be Lazy. Because that's what I am. Lazy. Just move down to this Z, then Y. There we go. Okay, so upon pressing enter, pause menu works. You can see everything, no items here. Let's go right back. Should have loaded, but that's weird. It didn't look like it loaded. Let me try that again. Nope, it did not load. Let's check in to see why. Um, if load is equal to one, load position. That is extra weird. I wonder what happened. Save position of him. Okay, we have that down. Menu. Upon pressing enter. Oh! Oh wow! I can't believe I didn't do that. I thought I did. Okay, we're gonna go back to this menu frame if you don't have this already. We're gonna set load to 1 upon pressing enter on the menu screen. Make sure this is above Jump to frame number three. Now let's try this one more time, and we'll be able to continue this time. <coughs> Big screen, yeah. So let's continue. I'm inside this house. Let me just check and see. It loads me back. Wow, it pushed me. And I know exactly why it did, because it moves to the navigator. Let's just edit this real quickly when you load the position you want the navigator to be at the same position of your character because your character follows the navigator make sure this is set as zero and zero not as one and one so let's try this one more time and I'm positive it'll work <laughs> okay <coughs> so we're in the house uh, we're checking the pause menu then we're leaving and there we are we load it exactly where we were. Now let's talk to our NPC over here to see if it works. Uh, you must be the new player. I heard that if you pick up the sword, you can press space to use it. Um, what you want to happen when you talk to an NPC is you want them to look in the same direction as you. Not in the same direction, but to look at you. You can easily do that by making him look in the direction, like the like the direct event. It'll work that way. You have found a sword. Would you like to pick up the sword? Of course I would. And there we go. Let's check our pause menu. Yay, we have a sword now. Okay. And the sword reappeared. <laughs> Let me show you guys how to fix that as well. Um, let's make a new, a group, a new group called Must events we're gonna make so that compare two general values if the item sword is greater than zero meaning if you have a sword then this sword will you know it'll destroy let's make this at the start of frame so at the start of frame if you have a sword you won't see this one in frame so let's test that out and bam, the sword is gone. You've already collected it. 
we'll get more into um, items in the next video. Thanks for watching.